In the year 1995, the National Review magazine wrote an article about a new way of executing, an executing called nitrogen asphyxia or nitrogen asphyxiation. It basically means give them nitrogen instead of oxygen and kill them from a lack of oxygen. In the article, it said this is the easiest way of executing the person, where the person doesn't really feel it because they will go to sleep before they die and then eventually die in their sleep, so there's no pain or suffering. The article was published, but it seems like nobody really cared for it because nobody spoke about it. But 20 years passes and we get to April 2015. On this date, the governor of Oklahoma, Mary Fallon, announces that the state of Oklahoma is going to execute a new form of execution on prisoners. And she mentioned the name nitrogen asphyxiation. So now you have two forms of executions in Oklahoma, lethal injection and nitrogen asphyxiation. To use this form of execution, the state of Oklahoma ordered their engineers and designer to design new equipment for this execution to actually happen. A few years after this rule was set in stone in Oklahoma, the states of Mississippi and Alabama adapted to it as well. And now you could use that form of execution in these states. But there were still no plans on actually using this method. They had to make sure everything is in order and the person isn't just suffering. Few years passes and we get to the year 2023 and the state of Alabama finally decides that they should use this form of execution and it was going to be performed on Kenneth Eugene Smith. Smith was arrested in the year 1988 meaning 35 years ago for a murder for hire situation. Murder for hire is basically a hitman where someone hires you and orders you to kill someone they don't want and in this case a man named Charles Sennett hired Smith to kill his wife Elizabeth Sennett and Smith goes into her house and murders her with a knife. When news got out that Elizabeth had been murdered, all eyes went to her husband and they assumed it was him all along. When Charles realized that there's too many eyes on him and things are getting sketchy, he took the coward's way out and ended his life. After Charles did this to himself, Ken took a breather and felt like everything was going to be closed. But he didn't know that Elizabeth's house had something very modern, something that really didn't exist in 1988 in many homes, a hidden security cameras. And when the police realized that this home has this type of camera system and it had been recording, they just looked at the files and all the evidence was right in front of them. On the tapes, they saw Kenneth Eugene with another man break into her house and kill her with a knife. And his partner was John Forrest Parker. The camera made everything way too obvious and they easily went to their place and arrested both of them. When the court date came up, the jury decided that they should be sentenced to death. In the United States, when someone is sentenced to death, it's not obvious when the date is set. It could take many years before it's your turn. They stay in this cell for years on end and anytime someone comes knocking and opening the door, they think it's the call. The prisoner is told the execution date beforehand, but it's a few months before and they've been waiting years. These two stay in prison for 22 years and we finally get to the year 2010. At this time, his partner John Forrest Parker was ready for execution. You might say why is his partner being executed before Kenneth himself? Because he was the one that actually murdered the wife. But you have to know the system chose him first and it's always up to the system where it's kind of random. So John Parker got executed while Kenneth Eugene Smith was sitting in prison waiting for his date. On June 10th, 2010, John Parker is executed with lethal injection, which was the only way in the state of Alabama. But Eugene Smith had to wait. 12 years passes and we finally get to the year 2022. It's at this year where the prison system of Alabama announces to Eugene Smith that we will execute you on November 17th, 2022 with lethal injection. When we get to November 17th, he's told to get up and follow the guards. They take him to the execution room and have him sit down. He stays in this room for two hours without anything happening and this two hour probably felt like eternity. 
When we get to 10 p.m., they tell him to lay down on the bed and strap him in so he doesn't move. After strapping, they attach a IV to him. And finally, the executioner team shows up. The executioner comes and opens the IV to try to inject the lethal injection into it. But that's when Kenneth Smith complains and says that's not how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to insert the injection into my arm, not insert it into an IV. But they kept going back and forth and arguing, and it seems like not enough lethal injection was injected into the IV. So Kenneth started heavily sweating, and also one of his arms and one of his legs stopped working. While this is happening, he's suffering for an hour, and the doctors are waiting for him to die. But it seems like he's not dying, and the executioners call off the execution, and they were forced to give another date for his next execution. But Kenneth wasn't doing so well, so the doctors were told to come into the room and fix him up. After the execution was unsuccessful, it kind of shook up the state prison system and they realized that we can't have an execution failure like this and we have to use the new method called nitrogen asphyxiation, something that had been accepted but it was going to be the first time they're going to use it. Since it was the first time that this form of execution was going to be used in the state, the country and even the world. They had to get approval from the Supreme Court of the US, and a federal judge had to sign it off. After 18 months, a federal judge finally signs it off, and they're allowed to go forward with this execution. But the left-wingers and the United Nations complain that this is inhumane and you shouldn't execute something like this. But since Alabama is a conservative state, they didn't really care, and they chose to move forward with their decision. The date chosen was January 25th, 2024. The date the prisoner is going to be executed, he can choose his last meal. And Kenneth chose steak, hash browns, and eggs. And after eating, he only had 8 more hours to live. After the 8 hours is over, they come and pick him up and take him to the execution room. Once again, they lay him down on the bed and strap him in so he doesn't move. After strapping, they put a mask and its hose is connected to a nitrogen tank. When everything is ready, they open the nitrogen knob. And the only thing Kenneth is breathing in now is nitrogen. But nitrogen is not a toxic or killer gas. How is this happening? It's not necessarily the nitrogen itself that's doing the execution. It's actually the lack of oxygen. You are just replacing oxygen with nitrogen, a gas that's not breathable, but it's not toxic either. But when there's a lack of oxygen, that's when you suffocate. This execution was performed, but it was probably going to be the last one. In the year 1995, when this form of execution was published on the magazine National Review, they said that the person will not suffer and they will go to sleep. But this wasn't the case for Kenneth Eugene Smith, because he was suffering for over 22 minutes. The people inside the room see that he's suffering, but they're not allowed to intervene because the execution must move forward. What we're telling you is the story that the lawyer and the doctors in the room told the press, so it wasn't made up by anybody. Some say maybe he was acting to maybe cancel the execution to buy some more time once again. But that's a bit ridiculous where you're suffering for 22 minutes and you're playing along like you can't breathe. A lot of people are against executions, but some people are a fan of it and they say a person like this should be because he killed a mother. Either way, this execution will probably never be used again. In the US, in the year 1996, hanging was banned. Six years later, in the year 2002, the electric chair, which was the horrifying one, was banned as well. But most rules about executions are by state. Like for example, there is no state in America where you can use a firing squad, except the state of Utah, where the last firing squad was used in the year 2010. Most prisoners that are sentenced to death in American prison system are murderers, but people aren't a fan these murderers are being executed, and they say it seems torturous rather than execution. They believe that an execution should be performed in a way where the prisoner doesn't suffer whatsoever. 